Hello everyone and welcome back to SnowRunner. Here is the Azaz. I went to Russia and bought this puppy. We are going to kind of test it out a little bit today. We are going to go and pull this truck out of the muck over here at the farm. This is where I thought would be a nice test of this vehicle. Because I know every time I've went and tried to pull that truck out, I've gotten stuck. That thing is a is a mother to try to get to and get out because it is just flooded in the middle of a field. And it is nasty there. So I figure a good test of this thing will be trying to get to that truck, get it out, and bring it back to the farm. Once we do that, or maybe before we even finish doing that, I don't know. There is a hole that I found behind the barn. That thing is deep. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to drive the Azoz right into it and really see what it has. Can I get back out or am I going to get stuck? I might do it with the truck attached to the winch. I might tow that thing right through it if I can get it out anyway. That'll really give this thing a test. Because I've heard that this vehicle is a beast. That it's almost impossible to get stuck. So I want to see. I'm going to try very hard to get this thing stuck. This episode. And I can't think of a better place here in Michigan to do it. Now there might be spots as you go on in, in later maps that are just way worse than this. But for my purposes, because I'm going to try to get a lot of Michigan done before I move on to the other countries, as far as missions go at least. So for my purposes, this is the worst spot that I've found in Michigan yet. So it's going to be a good test for me. And I think it'll be a good test overall of, of what this thing has. Is it a beast? Can it get through here without getting stuck? Even if I can get the truck out without getting stuck and get it back, can I get out of that hole? Because I don't know if there's a vehicle in the game that can get out of the hole I found. Because it is nasty. But we're going to give it a shot. So we're coming into the field. I'm going to kind of come into the field the back way past the farm and try to get to it, pick it up, and take it with me over to the farm. I think that's the play here. So far, so good. We're moving slow, but we are moving. And we haven't gotten to the real bad section yet. This is just a little mud puddle. One thing I have noticed about this already is it doesn't get anywhere in a hurry. It's not a fast, fast truck. It's slow and steady. But as long as it doesn't get stuck, that's okay. I would rather go faster, but slow will do as long as it keeps going and right now it's already kind of impressive because it's slogging through granted I'm not really in the deep mud well I'm in deep mud I'm just I'm not in the water okay so in normal auto it is stuck now it, it's not moving and if it is it's barely moving so we're gonna put it down in low and see if that makes a difference or if I'm still stuck It's kind of inching forward. Let me kind of wiggle the wheels and try to get up out of the ruts. Yep, it's pulling right up out of there. In low. So it's having a little bit of trouble, but it's getting the job done. It's not stopped. I didn't have to winch or anything. Now we're going to kind of go up here past this a little ways so that I can kind of hook the winch from behind to the truck and haul it out of here. Now I only have to take it right over here to the farm. So it's not like I have to go far with it. But I have to go through the worst part of the field to get there. There we go. 
I couldn't get it to shoot out right for some reason. It, I couldn't get it to focus on it. All right, so we got to get through this mess over here right past this opening. And it's pretty nasty. So we'll see how this does towing a truck. Right now, it's still moving forward. It's not setting any speed records, but it's definitely not stopping. So this did better than the original truck I had. It did better than the pickup truck. And it did better than the Paystar. It really did well in, in that in that area. It only got stuck once, but I was able to get right out with my switch down to low. So that is phenomenal. Okay, so now we're going to go around here. And the drop-off point, I think, is just over here to the right. So we will go to that and see if that completes the mission or not. And then we will hit that hole. Let me check and make sure. Where are we at? Okay, ground scout truck. Yeah, it says it's right there where I put the blue mark. So let's haul this over. And that was a pretty easy mission. You don't have to go far. The hardest part is getting to the truck. But with this Azos, man, it it made short work of it. It was really, really a good investment. Okay, it should have sold. What's going on here? It should have accepted it, and it should be done. Do I have to start tracking it or something? No. I'm confused. I had to have accepted it, right? Because it's on my list. Whoops. We get winched back up to it. Okay. It said that that was the drop-off point. I don't exactly know what I did wrong. But we will see. We will figure this out. It is definitely not the end of the world. I don't see any other spots where I could drop it off. There's another one up there, but that is a contest or a delivery or something. That's a whole different thing. It's saying it's right there is where I'm supposed to drop it off, and I but I took it there, and it didn't take it. I bet you I need to, I need to accept it. And unfortunately, to do that, I think I got to go all the way back out to the field. Now, granted, it's not super far away. It's literally just past that fence where I just came from. But I think that's what I did wrong. I think I, I never accepted the mission. I just assumed because it was on my list that I had already accepted it before. But I don't think that I did. So I'm going to have to go back over there. That is a lot of garbage. You should make a mission where I haul your garbage away. That's ridiculous. Alright, so let's turn around up here. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Is that I just have to accept the mission. I didn't do it. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Unless there's some other place to drop it off. But it's telling me i got to drop it off there. We'll try to go through it again. No, I don't want to load. It's good to know I can get consumables here, though, for other missions. Yeah, there's no unloading thing, so it doesn't make any sense. 
why it's not it just must not be active that has to be the answer I'll check this other square too but I'm pretty sure that that's some kind of contest time delivery thing or something yeah, see, that didn't do anything. Okay. So, I'm going to go back over and see if it was that I just didn't accept the mission. I think that was the problem. But while I'm here and I'm towing this guy, let's go out here behind this barn, and I'll show you that hole that I was talking about. And we'll go ahead and haul the truck right into it with us and see if we can get back out of it. Because this, I think, is going to be the ultimate test of any vehicle I buy. Can I get in and out of this hole? It's right past the barn up here. You can't even see it until you get to it. And now I'm in it. I'll try to get it so you can actually see. Look how deep that is. The wheels are underwater. That is a deep and nasty hole. And I am down and low, and I am not moving at all. I am stuck. Now the question is, is there anything I can winch to to get out of here? That's something I probably should have thought of before I drove into it. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm wiggling the wheels, and I'm not going anywhere. So we are stuck, stuck. So let's see if we can't find a winch point somewhere that I can winch to to get the hell out of here. The tree behind me I can winch to. So that's what we're going to have to do, I guess. Maybe pull ourselves far enough to the side where we can get out of this. Come on. Yeah, this is going to work. This will work, because now I'm up far enough out of the water where I can move again. And the Azos climbed right out of it once I got some traction with the wheels. But how do I get back out of here hauling the truck and everything? Oh, I'm doing a hell of a lot of damage. Look at all the numbers on that truck, because I got it, I got it flooded in the water. Might as well haul you out of there. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not my truck. It was over there drowned anyway, so they're going to have to replace all that anyway. Alright, so we're going to come back up here, and I'm going to check out where this truck was in the field and see if I did something boneheaded and just didn't accept the, the uh, mission. That's the only thing I can think of that would make this not work. If I check that and that's not it, then I'm at a loss. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that that is what is wrong, is I have to go and accept this. See, I thought that it did not appear on your list of jobs to do until you have accepted it. So when I saw it on my list, I figured, okay, cool, I'm ready to go. But I don't think that's the case now. I think that you actually have to accept the job. And even if you don't accept it, it's going to show up on your list. So I learned something this episode. That's good. All right. Task. Yeah, I didn't accept it. So I accept it. Let's start tracking it. I bet you now it sells no problem. I bet you we take it right over there to the drop-off point and it just disappears just as pretty as can be gives us another chance to play out here in this truck though and see how it does it's going backwards it's going forwards it's not having any trouble at all with this mud and it may not look like it in some spots but this is a soupy mess out here and it is very easy to get stuck at least with the trucks you get in the beginning of the game this is a truck from russia and it is making short work of this field. It is actually doing way better than I expected it to do. So at least as far as Michigan goes, the Azaz is not going to get stuck. 
Unless you drive it into a giant deep hole like I did. But in your normal travels and your missions, you're not going to come across that anyway. I mean, that's literally tucked away behind the barn. The only reason I found it was because I was out there goofing off exploring with my pickup truck one day. And I drove directly into it because I didn't know it was there. It didn't look like it was any kind of problem. But out in the middle of that hole, it is very deep. And I sunk that pickup truck so deep that it flooded the engine out and I couldn't go anywhere. And I made a little mental note of that thing and I said, man, that's going to be a good place to, to bring trucks and test them out and see how good they are. Because if you can get through that, you can get through anything. So let's see if this works now. I think it will. Which means that I just pulled a boneheaded move and, yep, there it is. So it was just dumb on my part. I didn't accept the task. But there you have it. That is the testing of the Azov at the farm in Michigan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Till I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.